In a significant development, the DRDO has placed a development order on private sector firm Lawson and Dubro to build the first prototype of light tank that will feature a Belgian John Cockerill 105mm cannon capable of firing guided missiles, and will be powered by 1000 horsepower German MTUK A500 engine. The DRDO and Larsen and Tubroco developed light tank prototype will be rolled out later this year, and as per latest media reports, the Indian Army will also place an order for the first regiment of the light battle tank from Larsen and Tubro, that will comprise of 45 tanks. The Indian Army will procure six more regiments of light battle tanks, which is around 270 tanks, for which the manufacturing partner will be selected after an open tendering process from interested companies. Larsen and Tubro has already built and delivered 100 K9 Vajra howitzers to the Indian Army much ahead of its contracted date. Officials have said, that the Ministry of Defense is pursuing the Vajra repeat program, which requires LNT to build another 100k9 Vajra howitzers, and LNT's proposal is currently before the Technical Evaluation Committee of the Defense Ministry, and the commercial bid will be open this month. India has issued an OTAM warning for a launch of a missile around the Andaman and Nicobar Islands for the period from 25th and 28th of April 2023, and the designated area is 465 kilometers in length, which suggests that it could be the test of extended range Brahmos missile with a range of over 450 kilometers. Argentina has expressed interest in Akash surface-to-air missile defense system, and officials of Bharat Dynamics Limited briefed the Chief of Defense Staff of Argentina on the Akash system at the ongoing LAD 2023 International Defense and Security Exhibition. Argentina operates Bofors 40mm anti-aircraft gun and RBS-70 man pads, and is interested to procure a modern short-range air defense system. According to a recent media report, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited plans to begin production of the upgraded Tejas Mark 1A fighter jet in February 2024, which was actually the promised delivery date of first Tejas Mark 1A fighter jet to the Indian Air Force, which means that there is a delay of several months. HAL will begin deliveries of the Tejas Mark 1A from later half of 2024, because it is still conducting extensive testing of the new equipments added to the Mark 1A version, which requires whole aircraft recertification as mandated. <laughs> Pentagon has been pushing the Biden administration to elevate the Indian position to the same levels like close allies Israel and Japan, in terms of access to US-made military hardware. Even though both Japan and South Korea are operating the F-35, the Pentagon has been pitching the sale of F-35 to countries around China, which means that this pitch is made for India. The US has also offered its Rapid Dragon missile system to India, local production of F-414 engines with transfer of technology, MQ-9B armed drones, General Dynamics land systems built future-ready combat vehicles, and space-based intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance system. Oh,